Getting the placement correct the first time while taking into account the mechanical constraints is an opportunity to eliminate rework during systems integration where the costs are high. Expedition 3D Placement allows the designer to visualize and validate the mechanical constraints early in the layout process, reducing costly iterations with a mechanical engineer. Symmetric implementation for component planning and placement for both 2D and 3D including dynamic graphics synchronization minimize the impact on your existing PCB design process. And dynamic DRC validation allows for the correct by construction placement that adheres to your constraints. Let's take a quick look at 3D Layout's planning and placement capabilities. In Expedition 3D Layout, selection and manipulation of components is the same for both 2D and 3D views. Simply select and drag on the 3D component model to start movement. While moving, use the same rotation and push commands that are used in the 2D view. Multi-select parts on both top and bottom of the board and drag to move them as a group. While moving these components, you can easily rotate and push them as a group using the standard features of Expedition PCB. Let's multi-select some components and align them. The align commands will operate just as they do in the 2D view, allowing the designer to select components and align to different methods. Let's choose Align Right to align the memory components to their right edge. Even within the 3D view, you have access to the part connectivity through Netline Display. This allows the optimization of component placement within 3D based on the connections between the components. The Netlines are dynamically updated as the 3D component models are manipulated, supporting the same use cases for the component optimization within the 2D view. Expedition 3D supports two levels of clearances, minimum and optimal, defined in the Constraint Manager and used during 3D model manipulation. As 3D models are manipulated, the model color will change to reflect the dynamic 3D clearance verification. Red indicates the minimum clearances are violated, and yellow indicates the model clearance is between minimum and optimal. Also, the 3D clearances defined in the Constraint Manager object to object rules can be augmented to be instance specific. This allows the designer to define special clearances for situations like when a model needs extra clearance because of a metal body. Now as the model is manipulated, the instance specific clearance rules are used. Parts are placed within the 3D view the same as placing parts within the 2D view using Component Explorer. Component Explorer also allows planning groups to be placed. A planning group represents logical grouping of components, allowing planning of connectivity between groups before the physical components are placed. Once planning groups are placed, Component Explorer can be closed because both hierarchical subgroups as well as individual components can be placed directly from planning groups by dragging on the corresponding text or using the right mouse button commands when a group is selected. All of the same options available in 2D from the right mouse button specific to planning groups are also available in 3D. The designer can select a planning group and use the arrange command to attach all components within the planning group to the cursor for placement. Once parts have been placed within the group, the group outline can be displayed allowing easy selection of the physical circuit. Copy circuit can be used on a selected physical circuit to replicate its placement and routing within the design for unplaced equivalent logical circuits. Expedition 3D and 2D views have symmetric graphical sync capabilities. This allows the designer to have each view follow the other when doing pan and zoom operations. As you manipulate parts in either view, the dynamic graphics is reflected in both views. All selection and part manipulation options are synchronized between the views, allowing the designer to easily move between the views or get both view perspectives while doing part manipulations. All of the options for individual and multi-select, move, push, and rotate are dynamically reflected between the 2D and 3D views. As you have seen, Expedition 3D planning and placement allows a designer to quickly visualize and implement the engineer's design intent to produce an optimal component placement while taking into account electromechanical constraints. The synchronized 2D and 3D environment using the same selection, planning, and placement functionality as the PCB layout tool 
helps the designer become efficient quickly to make Expedition 3D Layout a key element in their design toolkit. If you'd like to learn more about Expedition 3D Layout, please visit us at Mentor.com. Thank you.